In this tutorial, I will explain how to set up a microkinetic simulation in the program MKM CXX. As an example, we will be looking at CO oxidation towards CO2. This is a fairly simple chemokinetic network consisting of only four elementary reaction steps. In the first two steps, CO and oxygen adsorb on the catalytic surface. Next, CO and oxygen combine to form adsorbed CO2. And finally, CO2 desorbs from the surface. The energetics of the reaction are visualized in this reaction energy diagram. CO has an adsorption energy of 80 kJ per mole. Oxygen adsorbs with 40 kJ per mole. We assume that oxygen adsorbs dissociatively, so we can say that a single oxygen atom has an adsorption energy 20 kJ per mole. The surface reaction has a forward barrier of 80 kJ per mole and a reverse barrier of 40 kJ per mole. Finally, CO2 desorption costs only 10 kJ per mole. Note that the numbers used here are just used as an example. The actual values for a typical catalytic material are significantly different. To start, open the text editor. Here we have used Notepad++. I will leave a link in the description where you can download Notepad++. First we start by defining the compounds of the reaction. The compounds are defined by three columns in the input file separated by semicolons. In the first column you specify the name of the compound. Compounds can be gas phase or surface compounds as indicated in the second column by a 1 or a 0. In the third column you set the initial concentration for surface compounds or the fractional pressure for gas phase compounds. The gas phase compounds are carbon monoxide, the dioxygen molecule and carbon dioxide. The surface compounds are adsorbed CO, an adsorbed oxygen atom and adsorbed CO2. Finally, the empty surface sites are a compound as well. Next, we need to define the reactions, for which we open a new block. The reaction block started by an ampersand and the word reaction without any spaces. To set a reaction, start by typing the abbreviation AR, which stands for Arrhenius. Next, you type out the reaction equation, when you sandwich the compound names between curly brackets. After that, you write the pre-exponential factors for the forward and backward rate, and finally the activation energies for the forward and the backward rate. If only Arrhenius type reactions are used, the reaction block thus has six columns, which are the reaction type, the reaction equation and the four kinetic parameters. Similar to the compounds block, the columns are separated by semicolons. After the reactions, we need to define the settings. Type an ampersand and the word settings without any spaces to start this block. For this simulation, we only need to define two settings, which are the simulation type and the total pressure. The simulation type is a sequence run and the total pressure is set to 1 bar. The final block is the runs block. In this block we need to define the temperature of the reaction, the total simulation time and the absolute and relative tolerances. Here we have set a series of temperatures between 500 and 1100 Kelvin with intervals of 50 Kelvin. The total simulation time is set to 10 seconds, which is sufficiently long for steady state conversions for this chemokinetic system. All tolerances are set to 10 to the power minus 8. In this example, we have previously tested whether these settings provided accurate results, but for your own type of simulation you should always carefully assess whether these settings are good. We now save the file on the hard drive and call it input underscore co underscore oxidation dot mkm. To start the simulation, we go to the folder where the input file resides in. We copy the folder path, open a command prompt window, type cd, paste the path and hit enter. If you type dir and hit enter, you should see the input file being listed. To start the simulation, you provide the relative path to the MKM CXX executable, followed by dash i and finally the name of the input file and hit enter. That should start the simulation. The simulation progress is displayed on the screen. 
The simulation finishes in about 5 seconds. Let us now briefly look at some generated output of the simulation. In the graph derivatives.png, we can see the consumption of CO and oxygen and the production of CO2 as a function of temperature. Typical for catalytic reactions, there is an optimum with respect to temperature. We can interpret this optimum as follows. At too low temperature, there is not enough energy in our system to overcome the reaction barriers. At too high temperature, the reactants no longer absorb on the catalytic surface, but rather remain in the gas phase. That concludes this short tutorial. Thank you for watching.